everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan, also known as Scraps. Today it's Sunday, May 26th, and at 7, not 7, but 10.30 p.m. Anyways, I wanted to, for today I want to do a live demo. Now, the differences between a live demo and this demo is the fact that during a live demo, everything is created live. Nothing is pre-recorded. Everything is done manually. Now, I do this show probably once every day for five days. But I will say that even with pre-programming and without pre-programming, I would say that pre-programming is much more of a pain in the ass. So, uh... Let's get to it. I'm going to drag up my rack down, and my sequencer is already down. I'm going to right-click, go to Utilities, Create a Combinator. Inside this Combinator, I'm going to go to my Dr. Octorex and choose a pumping track. Now, everything I use is going to be from the Reason Factory Sound Bank. So, I'm going to scroll down to Electro House. I'm going to scroll down to Drum Loops. And let's choose four on the floor. Let's choose one of these beats to start off with. Oh, and I forgot to plug my headphones into the right jack. That can be kind of a problem. So, let's hear what each of these have to... Oh, that's right. Another thing about being live is you also have to make all of the correct corrections. So. I'm trying to find a regular, a typical four in the four house beat where each fourth there's a kick drum. Oh, I was in top loops. Four on the floor. Yeah, this electro house kick will do nicely. So right off the bat, I take the e amp of velocity amount, turn it to negative twenty-four. I'm going to go to Studio FX, create a line six bass amp to tighten this up, and then afterwards, I'm going to choose my rack extensions, uh, soft tube saturator, turn it on type low and set it to 2.3. Now I'm going to hit the button that says copy the track, take off enable loop playback, and loop it and set the tempo to 128. Let's check the rack to see if we're getting above zero. Nope, so for coming in or one, I'm going to rename this drums. And I'll minimize this, create another combinator from the utilities. After this, I'm going to go to my, let's see, subtractor. And since we want a pumping saw for this, I'm not going to mess with any of the sounds right off the bat. I'm going to go to Studio FX, create an M-Class compressor. And the reasons between the difference, the differences between the Line 6 and the professional compressor that comes with the program is that if you flip it out on the back, they have a sidechain input. That's the only difference. Um, after this, I'm going to choose an M-Class Equalizer and an M-Class Maximizer and a Line 6 Bass Stamp after this, and that can be all be found in the Studio Effects. I'm going to turn my compressor to 1681, put the threshold to a negative 25, put the input to 1.5, the attack all the way down, release, put that at about 400, and leave the output gain where it is, turn on low cut, parameter 1, parameter 2, and high shelf. For parameter 1, we want this down to 139 hertz, gain down, Q all the way up. For the parameter 2, turn it to about 2.5 uh, kilohertz, gain down, Q all the way up. High shelf take that at 3 kilohertz, put that about 2.9 decibels and turn the Q to 2. Take off limiter, put release to auto, 
turn on soft clip and the amount for 127 and just turn on the compressor. Now if we play a few keys from our instrument, if I can move some crap out of the way. Now instead of the frequency being all the way up, I want to turn this down to about 12 so that way we still get that filter. See it's not all the way too far to where it starts sharing off all of the raw signal from the filter. This has just enough to where the filter still counteracts with the synth. So from this I'm going to go to my filter and change the filter amount to 34 to the keyboard knob tracking all the way to 127. Turn the LFO frequency, make sure it's on frequency and turn the amount to 127. Take that to about 82, 84. Take the amount all the way back down to zero and it tricks the synth I'm still. It, it still works with some of the synth. I'm not sure. Even by turning this off, it still routes here. I'm not sure. Anyways, we want more of a plug, so I want to change this to a square and turn it into a positive algorithm. So we obviously want to make this punch, so I'm going to hit tab to flip it out on the back. Now this is something I don't normally teach, and that is I'm expanding the first combinator that we created. I want to take the out, the slice output from 1 and 2 and plug it in to our sidechain compressor for our second instrument. Now what this allows us to do is that since this is only a kick drum, it's only going to use a kick drum on pumping the synth. So, when I start to play... Let me solo this channel out for you guys as we start to mess with it more. And, uh... Let's see, a pluck will only last like a few seconds, so I'm actually going to hit my arpeggiator. And turn to a slower... It's tap tempo, so I'm going to do it slower. That should work. So, I'm going to hit my stop button, hit my record button, uh, hit pre, turn down the click level to about halfway, and hit record. So when that starts to counteract with one another, it should be fine, but I notice there are some notes here that I can't really get to. Windows too small. I know, I'll just delete that. So what I'm going to do for this automation is I'm going to grab all these notes and bring them up a little better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now if you want some more swing, and with all your notes, I suggest you create kind of like a bell curve. Like a sine wave, actually. There we go. Now, this is still kind of chunky. And since this is live, I'm actually going to double tap my tempo. Turn it to 16th notes instead of, uh, what is it, 8th notes. So now I'm going to record and record a very basic pattern. Now we have this basic pattern. What I'm going to do is unsolo all this. I'm going to right click on my frequency, filter frequency 1, create an automation line for this. Let me zoom in. Right and draw 
for the filter frequency, I'm going to take it from this very low amount and turn it to halfway over a course of period of time.